Este. We're casting a wide net. We're looking for CNS effects of any kind. So central nervous system effects. At this stage, it's just, you know, trying to identify folkloric uses that are indicative of CNS effects. If somebody says it controls seizures or induces sleep or causes visions or has analgesic properties or calms people down or gets people excited or whatever, all of these are indications that, you know, there's effects on the central nervous system. Tiene muestras para estes? Juan Ruiz is the chief botanist on this mental health project. This man knows all the plants and basically on site. He can read the jungle like a book. And that's the amazing thing. You know, does he know the traditional uses, the common names, but also the scientific names, so he straddles the, the two worlds. One is the stealth weapon of ethnopharmacology. <laughs> You know, a living database. Pablo, también. Corteza. Ah, sí. Para poner en tu jardín. Numerically, we didn't get a huge number of collections on this trip, but we got three or four that uh, looked very promising. We, we got this Memora, Cladotrica, which is Schultes writes about as something that they give to old men who speak crazily without making sense. Mm -hmm. and, uh, chemically, it's never been touched. Pero con la seca, queda bien poquito. <laughs> 